Hi everyone, welcome back to Asian Highlands. I'm Basha and I'm here with Kelsey. We are both keepers here in this section and we are here with our lovely snow leopard, Bhutan. Bhutan is 13 years old. So Bhutan's kind of getting up there, but um, he's still nice and young and healthy at heart. So when Bhutan gets something he really, really loves, um, he'll actually just leap all the way in the air, all four feet off of the ground, and then run a big lap around his exhibit. Um, so you know you gave him something really, really fun. Um, Bhutan is a very talkative guy, so if you guys ever come and watch us do any sort of training with him, you might hear um, some little noises come out, and that is just Bhutan. That is just how he likes to communicate with us, and he'll definitely tell us no if he doesn't like something, but he also is just chatty in general. So right now we're working on a lot of behaviors with Bhutan that we call husbandry behaviors. So these are behaviors that allow for us to take really good care of him, make sure that he's in really good health, which will become super important as he gets older. So he has a few behaviors that he already knows. He already lines up to accept a vaccine in his shoulder or in his hip. He also knows a tail blood draw, so he'll swing his tail out of a port and we can run some blood tests, make sure that everything looks good. Currently, the new behavior that he's working on is a long open mouth. So we're asking him to open his mouth really wide and hold it open for us so that we can take a good look at those back teeth. Those teeth are really important for snow leopards. They're using them to chew up all their great proteins that they're getting throughout the day. So we need to make sure that those stay healthy as he ages. We give Bhutan all different kinds of enrichment. Um, so you'll see in the exhibit here, he's got this big log pull toy. So we put some meat in the middle of it so that he can kind of rip and tear and it's got that really nice heavy weight behind it. Um, kind of like if he were out in the wild and he would uh, kill something a little bit larger than him, he'd have to pull it around. Um, so it's kind of simulating that behavior. We like to get him enrichment that simulates any sort of different natural behaviors that these guys would do out in the wild. Um, so one of Bhutan's other favorites is scent masking. So all different kinds of smells these guys would encounter in the wild, would they would want to like investigate, roll in to kind of cover up their own scent um, and to know where different things are. Bhutan's preferred um, scent masking smell is taco seasoning. Um, so one of his favorite things to do with that is he likes to roll in it and get it all over himself so that he smells nice and delicious like tacos. Snow leopards in the wild are vulnerable. Uh, so AZA accredited zoos across the country are doing lots of things to help out and help that population to grow. Although our facility and Bhutan have um, engaged in that in sort of a different way. So Bhutan at one point did have a breeding recommendation, which is pretty much the standard for helping to grow the population. Unfortunately, Bhutan decided that his girlfriend just wasn't for him. She went to another zoo where she was much more appreciated by her boyfriend and Bhutan has contributed in a different way. Uh, so we have done some immobilizations where we put Bhutan under anesthesia and we uh, collected some of his sperm that is now frozen in a bank. So even though Bhutan won't be contributing to the population in a traditional sense, he still has the ability to pass his genes on to future generations of snow leopards. Thanks so much guys for checking in with Bhutan. If you're at the zoo, make sure to come and see him in Asian Highlands or in the other leopard yard across from the Australia Scoots building. Bye! Bye.